Welcome to Done. I'm David Stjernholm and you are listening to the weekly podcast from Stjernholm Consulting on how to create good structure, on how to simplify and get more time at your disposal, personally and in your organization. When was the last time you had an empty email inbox? Do you remember how it felt? Many of us have a lot of emails in our inboxes and believe it or not, but that in itself results in that it takes longer before we read and handle the new mails that arrive. My inbox is usually empty most of the day. One would think that it's because I don't receive many emails, but that's not the case. I probably receive a fairly standard amount of emails every day. The thing is though that I several times a day read, make decisions on and save or throw away the emails I've received until my inbox once again is empty. The last few weeks have been very intense for me and often when I have arrived to the office after a few hours of absence my inbox has announced 41 unread emails or something like it. It's interesting to see how significantly the amount of emails in my inbox affects my behavior. When I then sit down to check my email, I begin to skim through the list from top to bottom. I read parts of one email and then move on to the next one without really deciding what the email means to me. I jump up and down the list, read and scroll, but actually get nothing done. It feels overwhelming to start dealing with the emails since there are many more than usual and actually do something about them. So I just fiddle around and flip through them. For me, and maybe for you as well, a large amount of mail in the inbox obviously leads to that I tend to work slower with the emails I've got. Sure, I eventually and finally pull myself together and work through the entire contents of the inbox so that no emails are left and the inbox is empty again. A nice feeling of freedom, simplicity and even a feeling of pleasant emptiness arises. Attend to all your emails in your inbox regularly so that you've got an inbox so empty it echoes a few times during the day. If you are like me, it's then easier to keep your inbox empty and as a plus you'll respond to your emails quicker and you'll proceed faster with the cases you work with in your everyday life. Sure, it's easy to say when you only have a few emails in your inbox to begin with. But for those who have 3,766 emails saved, out of which 41 are unread, what I'm saying may seem a bit officious. So today I'm offering you the opportunity to experience what it's like to have an echoing inbox. Decide to work with an empty inbox for an afternoon as if it were completely normal to you. In your inbox, create a new folder and name it temporary. Move all emails in your inbox to the temporary folder. Decide when you're going to check your email the next time, the next whole hour, now, in five minutes or later, after lunch or something like that. When new emails have arrived, open the first one. Read the email. Decide if it means that you need to do something. If so, put the task on your to-do list or carry it out immediately. Also, decide whether you're going to save this email since you might need it someday, though you don't know when. If that's the case, store the mail with the other digital documents in your folder structure that is about the same thing, same client, same project or same area. Then delete this email from the inbox. Continue doing this until your inbox is once again empty. Take a minute to reflect upon how you experienced this. Was it easy to deal with all the emails? Was it different from before when the inbox was packed? Continue like this for the remainder of the day. At the end of the day, take another moment for reflection. How does it feel now? Do you want to go back to how it was before? Either return all mails you put in temporary back into your inbox or leave it as it is and spend 20 minutes a day to deal with as many emails as you have time for from the temporary folder until this folder is empty as well, after which you can delete the folder. Did you try starting with an empty inbox for an afternoon? Write to me if you want to and tell me what difference it made for you. You can reach me at david at stjernholm.com. It is no coincidence that I've chosen to work as a structure. My interest to share structural experiences with people I meet are most genuine, so you're more than welcome to share your experiences. 
That is all for today. I wish you a productive and enjoyable week until next Monday when we are back with a new edition of Done.